And a pleasant hello to you, baseball fans, alongside former Major Leaguer Steve Lyons. I'm Tom Brenneman. We welcome you to another installment of the award-winning All-Star Baseball franchise brought to you by the wonderful people at Acclaim Studios Austin and Acclaim Sports. Well, once again, it's great to be here working with you, Tom, and we're looking forward to a great ball game. Well, let's take a look at the starting lineup. And another player on the Major League record-holding Brewers who isn't afraid to swing and miss, Jeremy Burnitz, added 150 strikeouts to the team's total last year. The Royals defensively. Here's a look at today's starters. Supon works a fastball and a good curve, doesn't throw too hard, but when he gets ahead in the count, like most pitchers, gets good results. In his first and only season in Detroit, Roger Cedeno stole 55 bases in 131 games, but he drew just 36 walks in 523 at-bats. Cedeno swings and knocks the first pitch foul. And with that, we're underway here at Kauffman Stadium. Strike two as he swings through the curveball. For the seventh time in his career, Roberto Alomar had more base on balls than strikeouts. In 2001, he walked 80 times, and he struck out just 71 times. That pitch hit hard. Perez throws to first, and we have two away. Slider down in the zone for a ground out. Next up will be Piazza. The innings over as that ball doesn't drop. The leader of the Mets pitching staff for the last four seasons, Al Leiter, had another good year. He went 11 and 11 with a 3.31 ERA and 142 strikeouts in 187 innings. Facing lefties, Knobloch had an on-base percentage of 362 and a slugging percentage of 414 last year. Watches the fastball for strike one. Strike two as he swings through the curveball. Good pitch, but not a strike. Ball one. Hey, 
Now block hits it foul. The cutter gets by him, strike three. One away, and here comes Perez. Fly ball to center. He's in there safely with a double. This is a curveball inside, hung it a little bit, and he doubles it. Beltron hit 315 against lefties last season and had a 372 on base percentage. Watches the fastball for strike one. In the middle of the plate, a strike. And that makes a count. 0 oh and 2. Stays alive, fouling it off. And the count stays 0 oh and 2. That pitch is drilled. He rounds third and is headed home. He could try and stretch it to two. Rip to center, and the Royals take the lead. A cutter in on the hands, and he just fights it off for a double. Just misses inside. On the inside part of the plate. Makes it even at a ball and a strike. Fouled off the hand. Wilson in time to make the catch. The designated hitter, number 14, Mark Quinn. Swings at the first pitch and hits it foul. To left. Fastball inside, lined for a base hit. The right fielder, number 24, Michael Tucker. Cutter fools him, a swing and a miss, strike one. Foul ball right off his hand. Cedeno there to make the catch. They strand two here in the first.
Sitting off the top of the second inning, number 42, Mo Vaughn. Vaughn connects on the first pitch, but hits it foul. A high fly ball to center. Good job to get a break on that ball, and he makes the grab. That's a good pitch right there. It's so tough to get on top of that ball. Swing underneath it, just get a piece of it, and send it straight up. Third baseman, number 13, Edgardo Alfonso. Squeezes it, and there are two away. The right fielder, number 20, Jeremy Burnett. Down in the strike zone. Blown right by him, the fastball strike two. Change up, ball one. The heater blows him away, and it's strike three. This is the old country fastball right out over the middle of the plate, and he just blows it by him for a strikeout. Randa hit 261 against lefties in 2001. The count is no balls, one strike. Takes a look at the curveball, and it's strike two. He was fooled badly on the fastball for strike three. Feblis hit 226 against the lefties in 2001 with 19 strikeouts and nine walks. Curve, strike one. Could be going for two. In there easily with a double. This is just a little cutter away, but he's all over it for a double. Cutter, no swing, strike one. Blown right by him, the fastball, strike two. Ball one, the cutter misses.
Knobloch has gone 0 for 1 today. Swings at the first pitch and hits it foul. Man, oh man, what a grab. They strand one here in the second. Jay Payton's numbers came down from his impressive 2000 season, but he still played a good outfield for the Mets in 2001. He hit 255 with eight homers and 34 RBIs in 361 at bats. It's a short pop fly to center. Perez makes the catch. Change up away, and he popped him up. Wilson steps up and we'll get our first look at him. Fastball, ball one. Swings and misses a fantastic change for strike one. Slider, strike two. The heater blows him away, and it's strike three. Good looking slider, but no swing and a strike one. Change up, strike two. Does a little extra for the crowd. Tom, that's now six straight outs by the starter tonight, so he's starting to cruise along. Perez doubled his last time up. Good looking slider, but no swing and a strike one. to center he's going to stop at first with a single fastball too high in the strike zone and it gets lined for a base hit Beltran has gone one for one today
0 and 1. Cut fastball, strike two. No balls and two strikes. Cut fastball, strike three. One out and stepping up is Sweeney. Good-looking slider, but no swing, and it's strike one. Strike two as he swings through the curveball. Good pitch, but not a strike. Ball one. Misses high. Here's the 2-2. Perez attempts a steal. A great throw got him at second. Sedeno to get things going. Number 18, Roger Sedeno. Blown right by him, the fastball strike two. Great lead on that ball, and he makes the catch. The second Alomar has gone over one today. Roberto one down Alomar. here in the top of the fourth. That pitch popped up. Feblis in to make the cap. <laughs> Piazza has gone over one today. Piazza hits it foul. Fastball, ball one. Way back and headed for left center. They give chase. Nothing doing home run. 446 feet. That one's gone in a hurry, and he just crushed it. Vaughn has gone over one today. Vaughn goes after the first pitch. Perez lunges to his left. Score tied after the home run by Piazza. Well, that's just a great job to get a read on the ball, make the perfect dive, and make that very difficult catch.
Quinn hit 288 against lefties in 2001, and Slugs 528. Good pitch, but not a strike. Ball one. No chance there. Fastball, strike one. Liner to center. Quinn drives a single to center. Slider inside, line for a base hit. Coming up now is Tucker. No chance there. Fastball, strike one. Popped him up. Lighter grabs it to make the catch. Randa struck out during his previous at bat. Miranda. Ground ball. He steps on the bag for the second out. Safe at first. Oh, he just ties him up right here with a curveball and gets the ground out. Feblis is one for one. No chance there. Fastball strike one. Cutter strike two. Ball thrown right by him for strike three. Well, that is just embarrassing. Going down on three straight pitches. Obviously, a little bit overmatched right there. Any thoughts on last season? I thought last year might have been one of the most complete seasons that baseball has seen in a long time. Barry Bonds with the 73 home runs, a great World Series, one of the best ever, and the fact that there's a new world champion after the Yankees had dominated for so long I think is great for baseball. He had a fly ball the to the left fielder his last time up. Edgardo Alfonso. Foul down the third baseline. The third baseman. He steps on the bag for the first gap. Great location. Fastball down in the strike zone for the ground out. He went down on strikes his last time up. Jeremy Burnett. Get the car, man. Watches the fastball for strike one. Blown right by him, the fastball, strike two. Oh, 
Off the end of the bat, foul. You'll see another pitch. And the count stays 0-2. Liner to center. Change up on the inner half of the plate, and it gets lined for a hit. We'll take another look at Peyton. They have to find a way to advance the runner into scoring position, preferably third base. A hit and run could get it done right here. Batter isn't swinging at the curveball, and it's strike one. That pitch is popped up straight away toward second base. Supon is there to make the catch. Wilson has gone over one today. The curveball, strike one. In there, safely. That was a good pitch inside, but the batter took a nice swing and was able to drive it for a base hit. Ordonez has gone over one today. Watches the fastball for strike one. Misses the change, and it's strike two. Change up, swings, and misses for strike three. Ouch. The cardinal sin in baseball. A three-pitch strikeout. Definitely not one of his better at-bats. Gone over one today. Hit in the air to center. Long fly ball, but caught for the first out of the inning. He had a fly ball to the left fielder his last time up. The third baseman. Well, that's just a nice job right there of trying to get in front of that ball, knocking it down and making sure that it stays in the infield. He singled his last time up. Chuck was successful 38 of 47 times on the base paths in 2001. In the middle of the plate, a strike. Cut fastball, strike two. Got him with the hook. With runners on in 2001, 
Beltran hit 332 with a 544 slugging percentage. They strand one here in the fifth. Tom Brenneman with Steve Lyons, and we are watching one heck of a game here. In close and late situations such as this one, Sedano hit 324 during the 2001 season. Good cut, but fouled off. Fly ball to left field. Out number one on a deep drive. The second baseman, number 12, Roberto Alomar. A rocket low to left field. See you later. 404 feet. Well, Tom, I've heard it before, so let's say it again. Adios, senor pelota. Piazza has gone one for two today. Mike Piazza. Swings and misses a fantastic change for strike one. Liner to center. Fastball inside, lined for a base hit. The first he hit a bullet right to the shortstop his last time up. One ball and no strikes. Hit in the air to left. Long fly ball caught for out number two. Next batter will be Alfonso. Edgardo Alfonso. Alfonso hits the first pitch foul. Good pitch, but not a strike. Ball one. Okay. 
Beautiful shoestring catch. They're up by one after the homer by Alomar. Sweeney leads it off. A high fly ball to center. Hit a long way, but caught for the first out of the inning. Now we'll see Quinn. Cutter fools him, a swing and a miss, strike one. Fastball, ball one. The shortstop. Two down. Slider inside, ties him up, and he grounds out. Tucker is 0 for 2. And that makes a count. One and oh. The cut fastball. Strike one. Hit in the air, and this should end the inning. And it does. That'll do it for the six. New York leads it two to one. I think this guy just got out on his front foot a little bit, got underneath it, and popped it up. He singled his last time up. Number 20. Jeremy Burnett. Nothing. Yes, you're not there. No swing. Change up for strike one. The breaking ball. Strike two. That's one of the best pitches we have seen tonight. Strike three on an awesome curveball. Peyton, without a hit today, looking to change that. No swing, change up for strike one. Foul ball right off his hand. Hit in the air to center. Driven deep, but caught for out number two. Wilson is one for two. Not 
Wilson swings at the first pitch. Rip to center. Fastball inside, lined for a base hit. Ordonez hit 296 with runners on in 2001. He takes it deep. That ball hung up there so long, they had to wipe the snow off of it when it came down. Sedeno trying to get his first hit of the game. Looks like they're going to make a pitching change here. Now pitching for the Royals, number 38, Jason Grimsley. Batter isn't swinging at the curveball, and it's strike one. Blown right by him, the fastball, strike two. The heater blows him away, and it's strike three. That was a dominating at-bat for the pitcher right there. He didn't waste any pitches. He had the batter guessing the entire time, and he got a three-pitch strikeout. They need to string some hits together here just to make some things happen. Randa has gone 0 for 2 today. Cutter, no swing, strike one. Just inside. Fly ball to center. That pitch fooled him right there, and he was way late on it, barely got his bat on it, and popped it up. Feblis has gone one for two today. Cutter, no swing, strike one. Guy to right. In the second with a double. And this is a curveball away, but he keeps his hands back nicely and drives the ball for a double. Hint has gone 0 for 2 today. On the inside corner for a strike. Hinch hits it foul.
Knobloch has gone one for three today. Slider over, and he misses strike one. Lighter delivered. Fastball, ball one. No chance to catch up to that fastball, and he goes down swinging. This is the old country fastball right out over the middle of the plate, and he just blows it by him for a strikeout. Ahead by three, Alomar will try and get some insurance for New York. Down in the zone, but a strike. No balls, one strike. There's a looper foul and out of play. Tucker makes a fine play there. Oh, that was a pretty risky play right there. If he doesn't come up with that ball, all kind of trouble starts. There's out number one, and now we'll see Piazza. Swings at the first pitch and hits it foul. Go, Pop. Looper foul and out of play. The heater blows him away and it's strike three. Vaughn has gone 0 for 3 today. Inside. Hit in the air to center. They go down in order. Perez has gone two for three today. The count is no balls, one strike. Perez fouled it off. No balls and two strikes. Down 0-2 last year, Perez just didn't get it done. He hit just 185 and 54 at-bats. Way back to left. Too short and off the wall. 
in there easily with a double. Tom, the leadoff double here really helps things out as far as scoring runs. You can bunt the guy over in this situation or just try to hit the ball the other way to advance it. He flied out to center field his last time up. A high fly ball to left. The Royals are running out of outs. He's safe. Sweeney is 0 for 3. The Royals cut the lead to two. That's a slider down in the zone, and he just dug it out of there and smoked it for a double. Quinn is two for three. Sweeney is at second. He had a fly ball to the left fielder his last time up. Looks like they're going to make a pitching change here. Straight up. Ordonez squeezes it to make the catch. Some tense moments here late in this ball game. Splitter darts through the strike zone. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Splitter. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. Randa scuffled when he was down 0-2 last season. He went 7 for 39 with just two RBIs. That was a dominating at bat for the pitcher right there. He didn't waste any pitches. He had the batter guessing the entire time, and he got a three pitch strikeout. Alfonso has gone 0 for 3 today. Edgardo Alfonso. No balls, one strike. Way back to right. Alfonso heads to second with a double. Well, good things almost always come from this, Tom. A leadoff double, and now you can do all kinds of things to get the run home. Right Burnett has gone three. one for three Jeremy today. Burnett. Alfonso was successful five out of five times on the base pass in 2001. Maybe he didn't try to steal enough. Two runners on, and here comes Peyton. Peyton hits it foul.
That pitch lifted to left. He made that play look easy. He singled in his last at bat. Swings and misses a fantastic change for strike one. Makes it no balls and two strikes. Good hard fastball goes right by him. Strike three. He homered his last at bat. Two on, two out. Here in the top of the ninth. Breaking ball for strike one. Ordonez takes a pitch. On the inside part of the plate. Great fastball to pick up the strikeout. Nice fastball at the knees and missed for strike three. A pinch hitter is coming to the plate. Batters hit just 214 against Benitez last season, but they did hit 12 home runs on him. Ibanez hits the first pitch foul. Splitter for strike two, no swing. Ibanez takes the pitch deep to left field. In the second with a double. McCarty now comes up to the plate to pinch hit. McCarty, no swing. Slur, strike one. One and one. Split finger fastball, a nasty pitch to swing and a missed strike two. Trying to get the batter to chase something right here. A pitcher will sometimes go to his best pitch, but throw it in a different location. He goes down, chasing the fastball. Knobloch is one for four.
splitter. Strike one as he looks at a pitch. Blown right by him, the fastball, strike two. Now block, it's a deep drive to right. Ibanez rounds third and heads for home. Kansas City cuts the lead to one. Fastball away, and he doubles it. The average with runners in scoring position for Perez in 2001 was 315. Splitter, strike one as he looks at a pit. Hit right on the screw. Knobloch is rounding third. Liner to left. Kansas City ties up the ball game. This is a splitter down in the strike zone. He keeps his hands back, his weight back, and just drives it the other way. Beltran is one for four. One down here in the bottom of the ninth. Slur fools him, strike one. Sweeney has gone one for four today. Down in the zone, but a strike. Sweeney hits a deep drive to center. The Royals recapture the lead. That's it for this one. Another superb game of All-Star Baseball 2003 is in the book. Great game today, Steve. Well, when you wake up and come to the ballpark, these are the kind of games that you hope to see. This one had a little bit of everything. On behalf of Steve Lyons and all the wonderful people at Acclaim, I'm Tom Brenneman saying thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.